Once, long ago, I, Dr. Baxter Stockman, was a whole man. A brilliant mind and an able body. In the science community, I was unequaled. Throughout the world, I was renowned, revered, worshipped. But it all went wrong. Horribly, horribly wrong. My genius fell under the control of cruel-minded brutes. No! No! They whittled me away, piece by piece. Limb by limb. Until I was reduced to nearly nothing. But those simpletons aren't to blame. I finally know who is truly responsible for my downfall. And now, with my new body, I will have my revenge! Just use my size on these slime balls. I'm sorry, Rat, but you know how toxic these outbreak bugs are. Yeah, I know. Trap them and trank them. Well, somebody grab the trank! <laughs> got him! Uh, Donnie? I think he's got you. Hang on, bro! Mikey's a coming! Good timing, Leo. Thanks. I think that's enough monster hunting for one day. Let's go. Body transfer systems ready. It's a rash mistake, Dr. Stockman. Ah, Agent Bishop. I can only assume you're here to witness my genius at work. I'm here to warn you one last time. It's foolish to go through with this. Please, you're living proof that my body transplant procedure works. Why should I have to wait for my new body? Why? Because your genetic miscalculations caused an outbreak in New York that's turned the city into a cesspool of mutations. As if it wasn't one already. This improved super soldier accelerant has made my new clone body far stronger and faster than initial tests suggested. Early genome imbalances were inevitable, but I've solved those problems, as I always do. Do what you will, Doctor, but don't damage that brain of yours. 
it is still of some use to me. Maybe the dullard should try getting a brain of his own. Now then, time to put myself to sleep so that I can wake up a new man. <sighs> Commencing cerebral transference. Mama, smart little boy. Mama. Hmm. <laughs> hey, what's that behind your back? It's that science kit you've been wanting, baby doll. A lot better than playing with those pots and pans. Will you play with me, Mama? Oh, I wish I could, honey. But Mama's got to work a double shift tonight. All right, baby, now you have fun. <laughs> and remember, the sky's the limit for you, baby doll. The sky's the limit. Now housed within a superb body. Oh, how I've missed having a physical body. The sights, the smells, the sensation of a cool breeze. I have goosebumps. Goosebumps! Huh? Uh -huh. Oh! The skin is just settling. Yes, that's all. Simple tissue acclimation. <laughs> Baxter Stockman, you are beautiful. might be prudent to run one or two small tests. Everything seems normal. Above normal. Perhaps I should check the molecular dosage levels of the super soldier accelerant. just wanted to let you know how proud I am of you. The sky's the limit for my Baxter. You sleep tight now, baby. Oh, and honey, do me a favor. Put something on that finger. It looks infected. Mama? Must be some neuroanesthetic residue from the transference. <laughs> No, no! What's happening to me? This 
Experiment is a catastrophe! Oh, how could I have been so stupid? Why was I in such a rush? Why didn't I listen to Agent Bishop? Why? Why am I a failure my whole life? Oh, Mama, I started with such promise. Where did it all go wrong? Where? The horrible degradation at the hands of the Shredder, his horrific thug, Hun, or those despicable turtles? No, no, before them, it was her! I trusted her, and she betrayed me! She brought in those turtles and ruined everything! My glorious Mousers failed because of her, <laughs> and that failure is what brought the Shredder's wrath down upon me! Yes, yes, she's responsible! She did this to me! And she is the one who will pay! I'll get it. Jeez, I'm coming, I'm coming! Casey! Hello, Ms. O'Neill. We have some catching up to do. Back where this all started. April! Come, April dear, you have a little appointment regarding retribution. <laughs> feeling under the weather lately, but come on. Perhaps a small demonstration. <laughs> Multifunction side panels. Ion charged laser cannons. Concussion blasters. Plus a command center that's patched in with our computer mainframe, security systems, and shell cell. Which, as you can hear, works perfectly. Hello? Guys, it's Stockman. He's back, and he's taking April. <gasps> Hang tight, Tacey. We're on our way. <sighs> he just busted in. He knocked me out, and when I woke up, they were gone. All I remember is him saying something about going back to where this all started. Where it all started? Stocktronics. The lab where he and April first worked together. It has to be. Now, Miss O'Neill, time for you to pay for what you've done. You ruined my work for the Shredder. You brought those turtles into my life. Because of you, I have been torn apart. Well, Miss O'Neill, now it's your turn to go to pieces. It's good to be home. <coughs> huh? Baxter. I'm sorry, baby doll. Mama's just worn out. I guess this old body just can't take it. I so wanted to see you grow up and be a fine man. I did. <coughs> Remember, the sky's the limit for you, boy. I love you, Baxter. Oh, no, Mama. Don't leave me. Mama. 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 What? Ah, Miss O'Neill. I'm glad you're here early. We have a lot of work to do. As you can see, the mouse's search and retrieval functions are all ingeniously controlled by a remote mother computer. 
quite brilliant, really. Oh, <laughs> you flatter me, April. I like that. Let her go, Stockman! April? You... you betrayed me! Run, April! Get out of here! No, she can't leave. I forbid it! You asked for it, Dr. Stockman Stein! <laughs> She ruined my life, and she must pay! April? <sighs> April! Which way did they go? We should split up! No! Better yet, search from above. with a dissection table. Hey, Doc! Ooh. How about a second opinion? a good boy. You had so much potential. What happened to you, baby doll? You were someone I admired, someone I respected, and you can be again. Mama, what have I done? <laughs> Doctor. Baxter. Please. <laughs> Mama, Mama. April! Mama, 
You've got to get off of here, Mama. It's not safe. Hurry, Mama! Uh, Hurry! I love you, Mama! I... Stockman? We've seen him come back from worse. Only time will tell. Well, I say good riddance. That psycho's given us nothing but grief ever since we met him. I don't know. He did give us this neat chopper. Sort of. Now, if I can just find a place to park it.